It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Birds and the Buccaneers, and it's coming up next. The cannons of the pirate ship ready to fire in the north end zone. We can only be one place. Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa, the home of the Buccaneers. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olsey. Greg, one of the joys of covering the league week in, week out, you watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they've gotten older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe protect some of their weaknesses. That's what it takes to play at a high level at the quarterback for a long time in the NFL and give credit to both these players and both these organizations. I think it's official. They have their quarterback of the future, and the future looks bright. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. The Eagles let out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media, and the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference, but if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. A big play right out of the gate on the first play. 31 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He's got the 2021 Heisman winner. That's Devontae Smith. A gain of 11 on that one. First down, Philadelphia. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike, touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Hurts will try it again. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. So anytime a team suffers an early setback like that interception, human instinct says, Mike, we need to get away from our game plan. We need to adjust. I don't think that's the case. There's a lot of game left, a lot of chances to avenge that play and still connect downfield on some of these passes. All proven, though, Mike, they've got to identify what went wrong. Let's correct it so we're able to move forward. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland and Carolina and then with the Rams. But now year two, and it feels like he's found a home. Greg here with the Buccaneers. One thing about this guy is he epitomizes the word resiliency. After a promising start to his NFL career, he hit a major wall. I mean, he was essentially, like, discarded by the entire league to the point where many felt he was destined to just be a career backup. However, once he got that second chance, he took it and ran with it. Now that his career is back on track, he's tasked with leading this team to many more victories. And if he plays up to that standard, he's going to give him a legitimate shot. Now some movement up front, and we'll hear from our referee for the first time here today.
Baker going to hand it to White. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Third and long. Now Mayfield. They'll set up the screen to White. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. Back deep for the Eagles, Britton Covey. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Eagles offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. second down and seven a shotgun snap now to Hertz the open receiver is Dotson they'll get 19 out of that play good for an Eagles first down great pre-snap recognition here by the quarterback he looks outside and sees man coverage and he knows exactly where he's gonna go with the ball now it's up to the receiver to create separation at the top of the route. Ball's on time, great placement, nice big pickup. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and 10. Ben in motion is Brown. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Open man downfield is Smith. And he will score. Devontae Smith, touchdown, Eagles. A terrific play all the way around, finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Tucker. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bucks offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Bryce Huff, the former Jet, in there to bring him down. Nice job of getting him down there for the sack, and Huff has now joined the Eagles this offseason. He had a breakout campaign last year in New York that saw him record 10 sacks on the year. They're hoping he can fill those shoes left by Hassan Reddick, and so far, Mike, so good.
Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. And he'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down, I'm up. They send Evans in motion. From the gut, it's Mayfield. Off balance throw, it's complete. 15 yards through the air. It's a first down for Tampa Bay. Back to back three and outs and not ideal to start the game in that manner. So that's a really important throw right there. Let's see if they can build something from there. Brings up first and 10. Continue to let your opening script unfold. You got to go down and find some points here and get your offense settled down. They field to throw on first and 10. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. They'll come up here first and 10. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. That's caught. Trey Palmer. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down. And four. Here comes Otten in motion. On second down, Baker. Get this complete right side to Otten. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. First down, it's White, and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities, and for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line, and we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. They'll go again with White. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. On first and 10, here's Baker. That's his tight end, Otten. <laughs> Here's second and two. Throwing is Mayfield. This one caught at the four. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. run with White and he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across setting up second and goal. A little closer. Here's second and goal. One more time. It's White. No signal, and we will not get one. He stopped short, and now it's third and goal. 
This offense is finding out the hard way, Mike. There is just not a lot of room to operate against this defense down near the goal line. Can the defense do it again from the one? Third down now and goal. They'll try to run with White. And he's so close to breaking the plane, but the official's going to come in and mark him short. So now it's fourth down. How about this? This for a goal line stand, Mike. Your back's against a wall. Back-to-back -back plays. You hold tight. They set themselves up here to defend a fourth and goal try. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Buccaneers, they're on the board. It's 7-3. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. A safe kick taken at the five. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense about ready to take over once more. Philippe sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Hurts now. A throw on the move is caught. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Dotson, the man in motion. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one in this wild card rematch from a season ago. 7 3 is our score. We'll have more from Tampa after this. Third and a yard. And they'll throw here with Hurts. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend defend you all by himself and after that last completion on the way back to the hole I think he had a few choice words for him I think he said hey man you can't guard me one-on-one -on -one. you better ask your coach for some help because if he doesn't we're gonna be in for a long day pick up of 11 yards on that one first down Philadelphia Again, Hurts. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop. And really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. to the left side and taken in by Smith. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. To the air again, Hurts. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. John Dodson was the intended receiver there. It's second down. 
That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. Gets it. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. On fourth down, it's Jake Elliott time for the Eagles. This from 34 yards. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles go out to a 10-3 lead. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down past 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here's the Tampa Bay offense. They're going to take over once more. Just the lone field goal for them so far. Down 10-3 to three in this one. And they'll start first and 10. Now Mayfield. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Now he'll run. The best quarterbacks don't see the rush. They feel the rush. And that's exactly what this guy was able to do here. He's able to escape the initial pressure and immediately realizes, I got some space out in front of me. Picks up a solid gain here on first down. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They go play action with Mayfield. That's over the middle of the tight end, Otten. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass. And he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. To throw is Mayfield. To the tight end, Otten with the grab. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Here comes Otten in motion. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it, probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and most importantly a first down. 
And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down, that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. On first down is Mayfield. And this time, the rush gets home. And down he goes. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Off the play fit, it's Mayfield. That is going to be pulled in. He's got it. Craig Homer, touchdown Buccaneers. All week we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket. Let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball, and that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. So back to level after the touchdown. And time for the kickoff. This taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Eagles offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. A second down throw for Hurts. That's over the middle. Complete to Brown. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. It's a game of 20, and an eagle first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Man in motion is Smith. On first down, it's Hurts. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. So got it. The tight end comes in motion. Here's Hertz. He'll take this himself. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they convert on third and three. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. A first down throw for Hertz. A 
to the outside. He's got Smith. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's caught, Saquon Barkley. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Nice pick up there by Saquon Barkley, and this is an element of his game that early on in his career, he really excelled at. You think back to his rookie year, Mike, in 2018, 91 catches. Last year, only 41. Now, I think a lot of that can be blamed on some quarterback issues and some injuries to Daniel Jones, but we got to get him back going in the passing game. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. Now it's going to be third down. Hurts again. He'll try to run for it. Taking advantage of the room to run. A gain of 19 on the scramble. Those plays are killers for a defense. You think you have the quarterback hemmed in. You think you have a chance for your pass rush to get you off the field. Instead, he gets away, picks up some tough yards, and sets his team up first and goal. This drive has been methodical, but... Will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. Here's Barkley. He'll be wrapped up there down at the three-yard line. Two minutes to play here in what's been an even first half. Greg and I back from Tampa after a timeout. We'll go again from the three. It is second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. That is caught side of the end zone. Jahan Dotson, touchdown Philadelphia. Elliott on now for the PAT. His kick is good. And the Eagles go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Tucker. And that's well done by the kicking team. He's only able to make it past the 15-yard line. The Bucks offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. Find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. 
Out of the shotgun. Mayfield. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. From the gun, it's Mayfield. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. Here's Jake Camarda now. He'll punt for the second time after hitting a beauty in his first effort. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. From the 35, it's first and 10. Now it's Hurts. Now a screen set up for Barkley. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode in that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. The tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here's first and 10. Now Hurts. This one is caught by Dotson. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range as well at the 17-yard line. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. This from 34 yards. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Eagles going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room. So that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Greg. All right, coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. 
They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Here's second and three to go. They send Evans in motion. A second down throw from Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. I like the play call there. Second, relatively short. Give your quarterback an opportunity to push this ball downfield, but realize this quickly. Nothing development. Get the ball down to your back. Pick up a new set of downs. Here comes Otten in motion. They will not get this one off. It'll be a delay of game. Now it's White. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Now a toss left side for White. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Mayfield to throw on first and 10. The give to White. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard. That's it. Now a third and two. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. They will have it at the 24-yard line. That's enough for a first down. They send Godwin in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the delay clock. Game. Clock says zero. That's a delay again. Still first down. Throwing is Mayfield. He'll get this out to his running back. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. On second down, Baker... 
There's Evans. He's got it. And he'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down coming up. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. A successful drive, but in danger of stalling. Trying to convert now on third and seven. Mayfield to throw. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. That's Palmer, the man in motion. On first and ten, here's Baker. He connects with Palmer on that one. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Throwing on second down. Looked like a lateral there, but now it's a free football. But this is taken in by a teammate. Nearly a disaster there, especially in this area of the field, Mike. You know these guys are reaching for the ball. That is such a priority of every defense around the league. Create turnovers, especially in the red zone. Fortunately for this guy, he gets to get back in the huddle for another crack at it. Thanks to some quick thinking and good hustle from one of his own guys. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. Here, the ball is thrown short. The idea is get the ball in the hands of your playmaker and let him pick up the rest with his feet. But you know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete. Brings up fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bucks are able to get it back within a score. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the three. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They'll send a tight end in motion. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Once again, it's Barkley. And he'll only get it to the 26-yard line, setting up second and long. They need eight as they come up for third down. Hurts now. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. 11 yards for number 11. 
And a first down. I really like the rhythm that this offense has found. I mean, that third down, that wasn't a layup by any means, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. And he finds some space, tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Now whistles. Play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. Still second down. They run out of the gun with Barkley. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. Look in middle, and he's got Brown. And he puts his head down, and he picks up the first down. Nine yards, and an eagle first down. To throw is Hurts. There's the tight end, Grant Calcaterra. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Hertz going to hold on to this one. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. They've converted twice on third down on this drive. Now facing third and three. Hurts. That's complete. Tight end got her. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. To throw is Hurts. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. To the air again, Hurts. And he'll be brought down on what will be the final act here in this third quarter. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
An opportunity for what could be a game ceiling touchdown right here. First down and goal. Hurts going to keep it on the option. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This is going to be taken in at the three. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The Buccaneers' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. And that'll be in and out of his hands. It's incomplete. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. Back to the air. It's Mayfield. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players. And I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts it allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. They send Evans in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming from the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. They'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Oh, he's got this one complete to Goddard. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and 
I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. They'll run it here with Saquon. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. From the shotgun, it hurts. Quick slant into the hands of Smith. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Here's Gainwell. Take this inside the 40 to the 39, but most importantly, they've got it. That's a first down. A gain of five and an eagle first down. Here's Hertz. There's that man again. Another catch. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. That's a short one. Caught by Goddard. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup. Of nine. To throw is Hurts. That's caught by Smith on the right side. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Expired. We're not going to get this one off on top. Still second down. Again, Hurts. This is caught at the two. And he's in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. On is Elliott to add the extra point. He's got it, and the Eagles are able to extend the lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Here comes a return from the five. Mm. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers' offense make their way out to take over once more. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. The shotgun, Mayfield. This one complete to Palmer. An 
enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. From the gun, it's Mayfield. It's complete to Evans. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. They'll set up the screen to White. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Baker going to hand it to White. And he'll get this up close to a first down as the tackle is made right at the midfield strike. Here's third down and a few inches. That's Palmer, the man in motion. They'll throw here on third and short. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. The defense was right there, but a gain of two. Good enough for the first down. Now, Mayfield. He connects with Palmer on that one. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. First and 10. To throw is Mayfield. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Second down and three. Throwing is Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. And the Buccaneers are going to have themselves a first and goal. He's out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Eleven yards as they move the chains. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. Here comes Otten in motion. A run on first and goal. To the five yard line. Now here's second and goal. Throwing is Baker. To the back of the end zone. He's good. down Tampa Bay what a terrific play at the back of the end zone Greg that is so hard to do but something you did during your career how do guys pull that off yeah the key here is the concentration to not only see the ball but then you have to feel the ground you have to know exactly where you are and of course all scoring plays are reviewed so replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board.
even with three timeouts plus the two-minute warning, they're going to try an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. That's a big risk in this situation here, Mike. They're hoping to catch them by surprise, but now when you fail, the other team is able to not only have a short field, they got a chance to extend their lead. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. On first and ten, it's Barkley. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. From out of the gun, they give it to Barkley. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Set to go now on first and ten. On the handoff, this is Barkley. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. So right out of the two-minute break, we get a timeout used by the defense with a minute 56 to go. Second down and eight. They'll run straight ahead with Barkley. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now it's third down. He'll drop to throw. He'll try and get there on the ground. The Buccaneers forced to use their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So it's a win here for the visiting Eagles. 
They're able to get the job done in front of a hostile crowd as they come away with the victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.